Hey guys. So I wanted to do a live video to talk a little bit about Arbonne and how I am liking it and why in a little bit more detail than I gave earlier today. Um, sorry, just got a mess going on and I'm making ceviche right now because it is Arbonne approved. Um, but I am really liking it. Like I am eating a lot less. Normally I snack a lot and I'm starving all day and all I do is think about food and want to eat, eat, eat. And it's become a huge problem. It's like subconsciously food is always in my mind. And I've got to get back to when I didn't think about food. I thought about like other things in my life, normal things, not food. So yes, I am obsessed with food. It's a huge problem. I am trying to work on it. Um, but Arbonne is not something that I normally ever would have done. I'm actually really surprised at myself for doing this. Um, I saw a post that showed a sale going on and I was like, okay, I can afford it. I can do it and if I pay for it, I'm more likely to do it. So I am doing it. <laughs> um, so what I am doing right now is two shakes a day. One is for breakfast, one is for lunch, and then a meal for dinner. There are snacks in between. There is also two teas. So I do a tea in the early morning and then I do a tea before bed and then they have these little fizz stick things fizz shakes I don't really know what it's called <laughs> um, but you use those they're kind of like a pre-workout but very minor um, they taste good they're really yummy but it definitely doesn't like give me any energy I think I've drank too much caffeine in the last few months so that's my problem <laughs> I gotta cut the caffeine out a little bit and the fizz stick probably would work really well for me but it tastes good so I'm good with it it's kind of like getting a treat it's like my after lunch dessert <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys in my shakes it is protein um, fiber boost digestive something and greens <laughs> Um, but you just do a tiny bit of each one. Um, you do two scoops of the protein. The protein has three grams of fat, uh, one, no, seven grams of sugar, which I was a little surprised about. Um, 20 grams of protein, which is great. And it's 160 calories. And I actually mix mine with water and I don't ever mix my protein shakes with water ever it's always with milk, which is my favorite, or almond milk, which is not my favorite. But I'm actually really surprised that I like it with water. And I really like the consistency, like it's a thicker shake than my normal shakes. And I'm not sure if it's because of the protein that's thicker, or if because I add the greens, the fiber, and the di digestive something. What is this? Digestive Plus. So I'm not exactly sure why it's so thick. Ryder, come on, I'm doing a video. <laughs> Sorry, my puppy. Um, so I really like the consistency. I also really like the taste and I just mix it with eight to 10 ounces of water. I do mix it in like a blender because in a shaker bottle, I was too worried that it wouldn't mix all the way and then I wouldn't like it. I haven't tried it that way, but I prefer the blender right now. Um, Steven has been adding bananas <laughs> and fruits to his. I'm sorry. Ryder! No. Find a toy. He's crazy. I mean, I tell everybody he's crazy. He's really crazy. Um, so I just wanted to share how much I love it. Um, it definitely makes me full. And I think having the fizz and the tea helps also make me full. Warm drinks normally make me feel fuller. So maybe that's a little reason that I feel full in the morning. I'm weird and I actually don't drink my first shake until about 11 or 12. Then I'll have a snack around two. Then I'll have my second shake around four. Then I'll have another snack and then dinner. Sometimes, it's only been two and a half days. So. I guess the last two days. Um, I haven't had my shake until like seven. It's actually 7.30 right now and haven't had my second shake, but I really wanted to have it for dessert because that's how much I like it. <laughs> Sounds kind of stupid, but whatever. 
Um, and I am in the process of making ceviche for dinner, which I'm really excited about. I don't think I've ever made ceviche, so I really hope it turns out well. Otherwise, we're going to be starving. Except I'm not. I'm going to have my shake. But I just wanted to explain how or why I like it. Um, I made them all pre-done because I really don't like to have to scoop everything out every single time. So this has an L on it. That means it's for lunch. Has everything mixed in that I need. I just pour it into my little blender cup, mix it together, we're good to go. And then I did the same thing for breakfast. So it's got a B on it, it means for breakfast. Um, and then this is what the protein bag looks like. I am not a fan of when my protein comes in bags, which sounds stupid, but I don't like the Ziploc part. I like to have like a tub. I, I don't know, I'm just weird. So um, I also bought some cocoa nibs. Never had them before, never tried them, but a lot of recipes say to use it. Maybe like an Oreo shake, because I love Oreos, but we'll see. I don't even know if I like these things. I'm gonna have to try that out. But I do feel really full. I've only had one shake today and one snack, and it is 7.30, and I'm not really that hungry, but I know that I need to eat. And one of my friends told me I look good today, and it's only been two and a half days, so it's possibly water weight. But I did go to the Nutri Shop and weigh in today. Uh, we weighed in two weeks ago, and then I weighed in again today, which doesn't really have much to do with Armand because it's only been two and a half days. <laughs> But I feel a lot better in the last two weeks, and I didn't really make much changes. And I lost, I don't remember how many pounds, maybe three pounds, but I lost two full percent of body fat. So I'm extremely excited about that. And I weigh in again in another two weeks, and I'm really excited to see what those results are, because I will be following the Arbon. And Steven just got home. Um... So I want to see what my results are in two weeks. We'll see how it goes. And in two weeks, I can finally have a drink that I've been waiting for because I really wanted some wine. You can't have wine when you're doing Arbonne. So I just want to share how I feel about Arbonne. I really like it. I think Steven likes it. It's tight. He said it's tight. <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know and I can help you out and find a sales consultant or whatever they're called to get you the products. See ya.